Moth lifespan. How long do moths live? How long do moths live? Moths live an average of one to six months, depending on the species of moth. For example, the common brownhouse moth can live as long as four months, but silkworm moths only live a week or two. This is a surprisingly large range, and the lifespan of many moths depends on their individual genetic makeup as well. For example, many species of moths are born without mouths, living solely on the energy stored in their bodies from the pupating process. The idea that some moths only make their transformation in order to continue their species and then die is a common theme among the many different moth varieties. This is both an interesting fact and a foreign concept to us as human beings. What else about a moth's life might be interesting to us? Let's continue to learn about them now. The average moth life cycle similarly to caterpillars, moths have an intricate life cycle in need of studying. No matter the species, all moths go through a variety of transformations. Let's discuss those in detail. Egg depending on the species, a female moth can lay over 50 eggs during a two-week period of time, and some can lay hundreds, depending. Many female moths die after laying eggs, as this appears to be part of their genetic makeup. The eggs are left unprotected for a little over a week on average, depending on the species of moth. During this time, the baby moths or caterpillar will receive nutrients and necessary sustenance from the egg it is encased in. Larva and pupae moth larva or caterpillars will emerge from their eggs after a 7 to 14 day period of time. Like many other species of bug, moth caterpillars will consume the eggs that they hatched from, as this includes valuable nutrients and growth supplements. Moth caterpillars are capable of transforming multiple times during this stage and go through molting processes called instars. After every transformation and growth, the larva will eat their previous shells, as they have necessary nutrients much like their eggs did. Depending on the species of moth, it will go through any number of instars before it is ready to pupate. The caterpillar will find a secluded place to build its cocoon, and perform one final shedding of its skin before hiding away for any number of days. Grown moths Many different moth species emerge from their cocoon after at least 10 days, if not closer to a month. Their incubation time depends on the weather and climate they are currently cocooned in, as well as their species. No matter how long it takes, the pupation stage matters the most. Moths cannot become the winged insects that they are without it. Plus, a moth doesn't emerge from its cocoon completely ready and able to fly. It needs a few hours to dry out and rest, as it adapts to its new body. This is often when the average moth lifespan gets cut short. Freshly hatched moths are entirely vulnerable during this moment, waiting for their wings to dry out. They are incapable of escaping, and many predators may be lying in wait. This portion of their life sounds strikingly similar to another famous insect. Butterflies go through a similar life cycle, but does this mean that their lifespans are similar? Let's learn more about these two bugs and their differences now.